Jeff, how do you feel about this? Oh, I don't know yet. It should be interesting. Hopefully this does what we want it to. We're gonna actually do a little fan bag here. It's gonna go next to our arch form. If I don't get smacked in the face again. <laughs> we are expecting some ferocious winds to tear through here. So you might be wondering, what the heck am I doing with the truck? I don't use it all that much. We had a viewer make a suggestion. Hey, why don't you fill up the bed of the pickup with dirt? And I thought to myself, that's kind of an interesting idea. So what I'm going to do is kind of line the truck bed here with that tarp. And then today, since we're not building a course, I want to take this opportunity to prep the dirt. Just get a ton of it ready to go. Previously, we've only been able to kind of prep the wheelbarrow and the cart, and that was all of the dirt we could prep. Uh, today I'm just going to spend the rest of the day shoveling as much dirt as I can in here. And then hopefully tomorrow that'll be enough and then we'll just knock out that course in no time. We'll see how that works. I decided on a whim just to kind of pull the tarp up over the sides. Just get out the folds on the inside that way dirt doesn't get into some hidden folds into the tarp. It might be easier to scoop out. Hopefully this does what we want it to. Can you lift it? Oh, you got it, you got it, look at that. You gonna hang out with mommy and daddy? Hey, at least we got the barbed wire done today. How's that feel? <laughs> One less thing to worry about tomorrow. Crew, you ready to go inside? Crew, come on, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's waiting, he's waiting like a good boy.
I'm probably going to leave this here for a number of bags. And then, like as we move over, I can just kind of move the truck with it. All right, so we're about to start on course number eight. Jess, how do you feel about this? Oh, I don't know yet. It should be interesting. Now, obviously we pulled the truck up here. I'm really excited to do this. Uh, I think this is gonna save us a lot of time, a lot of energy. So let's see how quick we can get this done. And we wanna get this done quick because we are expecting some ferocious winds to tear through here. Close to 30 miles an hour. Not counting how hard those gusts might come by here. I think we want to be done or close to being done by the time those things really start ripping, right? Yeah. And we don't have much time, so let's get it done. <sighs> so this is our first time using the truck. It's kind of like a cart or a wheelbarrow. And uh, I got the suggestion from a viewer, so thank you very much. I think you know who you are. I think it really helped us get a good start. Uh, my initial thoughts are it is a great way to start because I can prep a lot a lot more dirt right away before we even start before you know it's just not just a cart and a wheelbarrow because that barely does anything for us but i can get a whole bunch of dirt started are you worried <laughs> yeah Chris worried because we're doing things with the truck he's scared we're gonna leave him <laughs> yeah. it's okay we're not going anywhere. That's more like it. It's right where the action is. <laughs> Can keep an eye on us. Make sure we don't run away with the truck. He couldn't relax until he's right next to us, eh? Yeah, trust us with this truck. But I think the truck is a good thing to use in the arsenal because I think positive things, we can get a, I can get a lot more dirt prepared a lot quicker. Uh, the tarp really has potentials and like once I have the truck bed full, I can put the tarp over the dirt and keep it from drying out as quick. Yeah, and also, the truck bed is higher up than a wheelbarrow, so it helps get the dirt up a little higher to where I'm filling the bags. I think that was nice when I was just able to hand you the cans. You could take it, put it in. Uh, a lot less stress on both of us. Yeah. And load number two. I think it's a little different when you can see uh, a whole big pile of this and how far it goes rather than just little cartfuls. Once we finish that truckload of dirt, and it does a decent amount of, of bags, but once we finish that truckload of dirt, then we have to wait literally until I fill up a whole nother truck full yeah. before we can start filling bags again. Whereas if we use the smaller carts, I can bring that dirt and she could be filling while I'm getting more dirt. If we use the truck continuously, it might be in a part where she can't readily get down, up and down from the wall. So maybe it's a little higher that we have to fully use a truck or something like that. But I think right now, maybe truck in conjunction with some carts yeah. might be the way to go for right now until we get higher. Well, I wouldn't put them around here. I'd, uh, I'd get them under the roof. You ready for this? I don't know. The wind's really strong. We got winds upwards of 30 miles an hour today. Yeah, you can just see the dust coming off of the, the road over there. But that wind yesterday was just atrocious. Uh, it really became uh, something we just couldn't work in. 20 mile an hour winds are kind of pushing it. I think we can work in that. Yeah, 20 mile an hour winds, while it dries things out, it takes a little more exertion physically. Then you start getting 25 mile an hour winds. It's kind of like what we usually get on a really windy day. 
And even that, we might be able to push through a little bit. But these winds got up to 30 miles an hour and it just wasn't working out. And keep in mind, a weak tropical storm winds is like 39 and maybe like a weak <laughs> uh, tornado is right close to 40. So 30 is, it's getting up there. It's to the point where someone like me, I weigh around 100 pounds. It kind of knocks me off balance easily. It can be dangerous if you're trying to balance on a wall or a ladder like I was trying to do. Hang on. doing in here? I'm hiding out from the wind. <laughs> Get some shelter, huh? What you doing? What you doing in here, buddy? Is he hiding out too? Yeah. Get comfy. You're gonna be in there for a bit. All right, so we're gonna do a fan bag, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here we got our fan bag box. Woo! Built this over a year ago. So we're gonna do a fan bag. That fan bag is gonna go right in here. All right. I'm gonna shield myself from the wind here a little bit. So this is so this is gonna be cool. We're gonna actually do a little fan bag here. It's gonna go next to our arch form. <laughs> I don't get smacked in the face again. <laughs> Uh, the bag's gonna go in the box, and now we're gonna fill that bag right inside this box here, right up to the top of this box. Then we're gonna tamp it inside there, pull it out, put it in place. Ideally, it'd probably be good to do it on the wall, but with these ferocious winds that we're having today, uh, just cause think, just cause thinking that's not a good idea. Now, one cool feature about this box is that these walls can come apart. I can knock these walls out, then the sides will collapse. They're on hinges, and then I can pull the bag out. Pretty easy. We've used the fan bag box before, and I think it worked really well. I don't think this first try with it on this was extremely successful. The bag was kind of clumpy. It didn't hold together well. And I think part of that might be uh, trying to do it in the cold and the wind. And also trying to fit that fan bag in between the form and the previous bag. These winds are just getting too ferocious. You're literally hanging on to the bags, right? Yeah. We wanted to just push through this, but I, I just don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's gonna work. I think we're just gonna have to call it a day. Crew's in the truck, and uh, you might wanna get out of there. All right, let's, uh, let's get him inside. I'm sure he wants to get out of there. <laughs> So with these crazy winds, it's also gonna bring some cold, cold temperatures tonight. It's gonna to get below freezing. So anytime it kind of dips uh, below 30, I like to clear out this pipe here. So I just, I close off these valves. And then I kind of just drain everything out. I figure it's better safe than sorry. And just uh, clear all this out, that way we don't get any trouble. I got it insulated and wrapped, but I'd rather be uh, just a little bit extra caution. All right, now that's pretty much emptied out, I'm just gonna put the hose back in. got to see a little glimpse of that fan bag box 
but uh, that tool is really helpful, at least for the half circle arches. For yeah. the uh, gothic arch, we're gonna have to hand make those bags. Stay tuned if you're interested in how to make those fan bags, how to make those securely go over those arch forms. All right, y'all, course number eight is well on the way. I wish we could have finished it, but uh, <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. All right, we'll catch you in the next video, everyone.